so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Mail time. It's Flippy mail time. It's mail time. It's Flippy mail. <laughs> hey! It's Flippy mail time! <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of the day is checking to see if I got mail! <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Whoa! Check it out! Mail! <laughs> oh, let's see if I got any letters. Oh! <gasps> Check it out! Someone wrote me a letter! <laughs> it says, Dear Blippi, my name is Jacob. I have a little sister named Ava. <laughs> we love to watch your videos. I hope you're having a good summer. Love, Jacob! Aw, <laughs> that's so nice! Hey, maybe we should be nice too and write a letter back to Jacob. <laughs> but I don't know what we'll need to write a letter and send it in the mail. Hmm. Look, I got another piece of mail. Oh, it's a Blippi mail clue. Maybe this can help us learn how to write a letter and send it in the mail. It says, to write a letter that's sure to impress, first get creative and make a mess. <laughs> well, the first step to writing a letter is getting creative and making a mess. <laughs> And I know just where to go. <laughs> I just love riding my bicycle. <laughs> yeah, riding a bike can be lots of fun. But don't forget the most important part. You want to wear your knee pads, your elbow pads, and a helmet. Hop on your bike, it's got training wheels to help you balance right. And we have a clue. <laughs> to write a letter that's sure to impress, first get creative and make a mess. <laughs> and today we're here at Maker's Mess in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> hmm, I think they'll have everything we need inside. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. It's so big and colorful. <laughs> and. There are a lot of interesting things here. Different crafts, cards. <laughs> this will be a perfect place to get really creative, maybe make a mess, and write an amazing letter for Jacob. <laughs> oh, and there's a person here. Let's say hello. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Michelle. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> well, I'm on a mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to write a letter for my good friend Jacob, but I wanna make it really special, colorful, and big. Think you can help me? You came to the right place. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Michelle, there's so much paper here. <laughs> Whoa, we can definitely make a cool card out of this. Hmm, well, what color should I choose? Uh, I really like yellow. Whoa, yellow. Ooh, I like it too. <laughs> Look, yellow paper, green paper, Oh. Blue. <gasps> Orange. Orange paper. <laughs> but I think we should make this card out of yellow. Yeah. Hmm. My friend Jacob, he wrote me a letter. He wanted me to have the best summer ever. Yeah. And yellow kind of reminds me of summer. So bright and the color of the sun. <laughs> yes, it is. Do you want to decorate it? Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. Okay. So what do we have to decorate it with? 
Here Ooh. are some supplies. Whoa, <laughs> look, crayons. Oh yeah, we can draw on our card. Whoa, we can go swirls. <laughs> Whoa, or maybe we're at the beach for summer. Yeah, we're enjoying some waves. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of waves. Whoa, <laughs> hmm, maybe glitter glue. Ooh, glitter glue. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of glitter. <laughs> we can also add paper. Whoa, maybe we can Tear use the paper it. and ooh, look, some pom poms. <laughs> and we can use the glitter glue to put all these pom poms and paper on our card. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Michelle, you're good at that. I love these pom-poms. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's put some more on. Whoa. <laughs> and then we can make it rain pom-poms. We can Whoa. even make it rain more glitter. <gasps> Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. I think they're stuck. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, we have green pom-poms. Maybe we need some yellow pom-poms and blue pom-poms. I think so. You can take the blue and I'll take the yellow. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my God. Whoa. This is one colorful and sparkly letter. Oh. Whoa. Next, I think what hmm. we need to do is fold it like a card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's fold it in half. Well, Blippi, don't you want to have the decoration on the outside so then you can write on the inside? Oh, yeah, that makes That's sense. That's okay. <laughs> Here, we'll flip it the other way. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to have to put some of those pom-poms back on. That's okay. Yeah, when you're making a craft, it can get really messy, and that's the fun of it. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can stick some of these pom-poms back on. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's Whoa. 11. 11. <laughs> Whoa, this is looking good, but I think we need to put just a few more decorations on it. Do you know what always reminds me of the beach? Hmm. The sun, which we can cut out of this. Whoa. Hmm. Do we have any scissors? We do. Whoa. These. <laughs> and Whoa. these. Whoa, and remember, if you're ever using scissors or something sharp, you always want to ask a grown-up. <laughs> but look at these, yeah. See, the scissors' teeth are all different shapes. So when you cut it, <laughs> it makes it really wiggly. <laughs> Let's make the best sun ever. <laughs> <laughs> the pom-poms fell off, but that's okay. We still have a lot of sequins and we have a sun. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the perfect card for Jacob. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Our card decoration looks great. Yeah, <laughs> but it's blank. Yeah, we need to write a letter for Jacob. Hmm, and I know just what to say. <laughs> okay, hmm, here we go. I'm gonna use a purple crayon. <laughs> Dear Jacob, thank you for your letter. I am having a great summer. I hope you and Ava have a great summer, winter, spring, and autumn. Your friend. <gasps> Wait, do you wanna know how to write your name in a fancy way? I would love to. Yeah, you have to sign your name at the end of a letter, but if I could do it in a fancy way, <laughs> I think it would make it extra special for Jacob and Ava. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we finished the letter to Jacob and we decorated the outside. So I think we're almost done, but we're missing one thing. Hmm. An envelope. Oh yeah. When you send a letter, you need an envelope. Yeah. You don't want to just send a letter because maybe your decorations might get messed up. <laughs> you don't want that. And an envelope has the address. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Which There's one? a brown envelope. Hmm. I like this. But 
this is a really big orange envelope. <laughs> and since orange is one of my two favorite colors, I think this will be perfect. <laughs> okay, here we go. Open up the envelope. Ooh, thanks, Michelle. You're welcome. And put in the letter. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. There we go. <laughs> well, we finished the letter, we have an envelope, and I even signed my name in a really fancy way. <laughs> but I feel like we need to do something super special for Jacob. I wish there was something fun we could make to put in the envelope. Hmm. I know a craft we could make. Oh, a craft! <laughs> that would be awesome! Okay. I'll show you the way. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to make a craft to put into the envelope. But Michelle, what are we gonna make? We're gonna make a string illustration. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's so pretty! Yeah, illustration is just a really big name for drawing. But we're gonna use string. Whoa! <laughs> so what do we need to make this string illustration? We need string, Ooh. glue, scissors, <laughs> and a piece of paper to glue it onto. Oh, it's also colorful. Well, first, let's pick out a sheet of paper. Hmm, green, blue, red. Hmm, what color do you like? I like green. Okay, <laughs> let's use the green then. Whoa, we have enough string for sure. <laughs> wow, look at it all. Ah, string party. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of string, but now we need to put it on the paper. Hmm, and we need to decide what are we gonna make? Hmm. 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 Maybe it could be something orange. Maybe it could be something fun and blippy. Hmm. What do you think we should make? Glasses! <laughs> yeah! Let's make a string illustration of blippy glasses. Okay? <laughs> so Yay. we're gonna need a lot of orange string. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have a lot of other string too that we can use for maybe a background or a flower <laughs> or fun decorations. Um, so what do we do first? Draw with the glue. Ooh! <laughs> okay, so I got some glue and let's draw a picture of my glasses. Check it out, blippy glasses, yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now that we have the glue, we can start making it. Yeah, <laughs> all you gotta do is just place it on top. Whoa, you're really good at that. Oh, great teamwork, look, Whoa. I started it. And, and I ended it. it. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can fill in the center of the eyes and maybe even add a background too. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! Michelle, you did a great job putting the glue on the outside and we cut a lot of extra string. It's time for the string party. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! And then you wanna pat it down so that it all gets nice and stuck on the paper. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. Well, Michelle, this was such a fun craft. <laughs> okay. And I think Jacob's gonna love it when he finds it in the envelope. <laughs> Ooh, this is so fun. <laughs> string illustration. It's so pretty. <laughs> Michelle, you did a great job with all the glue. <laughs> thanks, you did a great job with all the string. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, now that the glue is dry, we can put it in the envelope. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Ooh. <laughs> we did it. We finished the letter and the craft. <laughs> oh, but there's one more thing. When you write a letter, you wanna make sure you write the address on the envelope. <laughs> yeah, an address is kinda like directions for the mail carrier. Yeah, so they know exactly where to send the letter. <laughs> yeah, and the world is really big. Whoa, there's so many cities and countries. Whoa! <laughs> so you wanna make sure you put the name of whoever you're sending the letter to. 
and you want to make sure you put their street number and street name on the letter. <laughs> oh, and the area that it's going. <laughs> hmm. But before we put an address on the envelope, I feel like we're missing something. Hmm. Maybe we can find something else in the store. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, let's explore. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Another clue! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Michelle, I found another clue! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Maybe this will tell us what we're missing. <laughs> Once your letter is ready to send, a stamp will take it to a friend! A stamp! <laughs> we were missing a stamp. Ooh. Michelle, do you have a stamp I could have to put on the letter? I do, we keep our stamps in the back. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go explore, see if I can find a stamp. Thanks so much for all your help. You're welcome and good luck. See you later. Bye. Let's go. Whoa, look, there's a person working over there. Hmm, I bet they could help me find a stamp. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Hello. I'm Blippi, what's your name? Bill. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Bill. I'm a stamp collector. A stamp collector? Whoa, whoa, we've been looking for a stamp. And what's that? That's my stamp collection. Whoa, could I see? Yes, lots whoa. of really beautiful stamps. Whoa, look at all the stamps. They're so beautiful, but Bill, I had a question. Why do we need stamps? Well, you have to have the stamp to pay for the letter to go to where you want to send it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need to pay for the letter when you get it delivered in the mail. So a stamp, that's how you pay for it. <laughs> but it sure is a fun way to pay for it because look at how pretty they are. Oh, are these all different animals? Yes, yes, Ooh. a lot of different animals, some baby animals. Aww. <laughs> full size ones. Oh, check it out. Some baby. And some butterflies. Butterflies moths. and puppies. <laughs> and Ooh. some fish. Whoa, <laughs> well these stamps, they look kind of old. Well, they are pretty old from the 1950s. Oh, the 1950s, that is old. <laughs> well, what's the oldest stamp that you have? I have even older ones. I have a stamp from 1860. 1860? Whoa, that was over a hundred years ago. <laughs> Whoa, they're pretty neat. Really and old. Bill, you're a stamp collector. Do you need any tools for collecting stamps? You do, you have to have tongs so you can pick up the stamps without Ooh. touching them with your hands because your hands have grease on them Ooh. and you don't want to get that grease on the stamps. Ooh. You mind if I try using the tongs to pick up a stamp? You could do it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Tongs, and we want to be very gentle because stamps, they're delicate, right? Yes, they are. Okay. So you have to be careful. Ooh. Is that a little pony? Or yes. A little horse? Yeah, a pony. Whoa, look, we picked up the pony stamp and we didn't use our hands because that could Damage the stamp. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I'm just going to put it back there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you'll, let, you'll let me do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and Bill, what's that over there? This is a magnifying glass. Oh. You can look at a stamp and see a close up. Whoa, yeah, stamps can be so you, small. <laughs> you can see the details. Yeah, sometimes they're hard to read, but other times you can find little flaws on the stamps that make it more valuable. Whoa, that's so interesting. So if you have a a magnifying glass, it's easier to spot that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, can I see some of your other stamps? Yes, here we go. Oh, look! <laughs> Little bunnies. It's a puffin! <laughs> yeah. Oh, and what are those over here? These are some airmail stamps from Greece issued about 1930. Whoa, Very 1930? beautiful set, very beautiful. Whoa, airplanes! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You could have a mail delivered by airmail and have a stamp of an airplane on it. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, and are there some other stamps too we could see? There's some more over here. It's stamps of birds? Yes. And it has someone's name on it. Well, that's the man who designed the cachet. That's the picture on the stamp. He's a friend of mine and he autographed it for me. Ooh. And then he made this fantastic <laughs> envelope that opens out with all the birds on it and these are his caricatures. He's a cartoonist and he does the cachets, which is the picture. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah, those are American songbirds. They're birds that like to sing. La 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 la. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cool to know that there are different artists and designers that help make stamps. <laughs> Seems like a hard job. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. 
That's pretty cool. Well, Bill, I have a letter that I was trying to mail and I need a stamp. Do you think you have a stamp for me? I do. <laughs> I do. You can't use these, but <laughs> you, you could use another stamp that I have. Yeah, you don't want to use a stamp that's valuable or really old. <laughs> you can just use new stamps for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look, some stamps. <laughs> Here we go. Here's some stamps. You can use those, huh. those stamps to mail your letter. Huh, thanks, Bill. <laughs> You're welcome. Some stamps. See what it says. A mailbag takes letters the rest of the way, find its hideout, look around in the place where you play. Hmm, that's a pretty tricky clue, but I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> well, Phil, thank you so much for showing me your collection and teaching me all about stamps. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'll see you Glad later. Glad to talk to you. <laughs> Woo, let's go. <laughs> looking for the mailbag. Yeah, that clue was pretty tricky. Hmm, a mailbag takes letters the rest of the way. Yeah, we need the mailbag. <laughs> find its hideout, look around in the place where you play. What we need to find a mailbag in a hideout that is a place where you play. <laughs> well, today we're here at Hideout Indoor Playground in Thousand Oaks, California. Hideout Indoor Playground? Hey, that's a hideout where you play. Hmm, <laughs> I bet we can find a mailbag in here. <laughs> I can't wait to start exploring. But before we go inside, we need to take off our shoes. <laughs> oh, check it out. There are some cubbies here. Yeah, look, the little hedgehog. <laughs> okay, here we go. One shoe. Two shoes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and I almost forgot, we rode a bicycle here. So we have our knee pads and our elbow pads. So we need to take those off too. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, now we're all ready to go inside. Oh, I need to find a mailbag. Come on! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place! <laughs> So cool, yeah. Look, these little buildings look like a real hideout. <laughs> Maybe for a secret agent, or a spy, or a really great place to play hide and seek. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at what it is. <laughs> Aw, look, it's a cute little pony. Hello. <laughs> hey, did you know that ponies used to deliver mail too? Yeah, on the Pony Express. <laughs> Ooh, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, I'll leave my letter with the pony. <laughs> I'll see you later, pony. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see what this is? <laughs> Whoa! It's so sparkly. Ooh! And it's smooth. Oh, I know what this is. This is a dance floor. <laughs> you know what I love to do? Dance party. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, and you know what goes really good with dance parties? Music. Oh, do you see what's behind me? <laughs> yeah, musical instruments. Hmm, maybe we can go play them. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. All these instruments. Yeah, they're percussion instruments. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> and they're really loud. Ha <laughs> 
Ooh. Yeah, these are called percussion instruments. Yeah, a percussion instrument is an instrument that you make noise by hitting it. <laughs> Whoa, and these make a lot of noise. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, you see, I'm using drumsticks to play the drum kit. A drum kit is really special because it has all kinds of drums. Well, yeah, four drums on this one, and it has cymbals. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. Whoa! And look at these. Yeah, we have medium sized drums, we have big drums, <laughs> oh. and teeny tiny drums. These drums, you play with your hands. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and they all sound so different. Yeah, the big drum is really low. <laughs> the medium drum is pretty medium. And the tiny drum is really high. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, drums are fun. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this doing here? Whoa, hmm. <laughs> do you know what instrument this is? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, this is a little piano. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you can use your fingers to hit the keys of the piano and it makes different notes. <laughs> yeah, and the piano it's near all the drums because did you know that pianos are percussion instruments too? Yeah, because you use your hands and you hit the keys. Check it out! <laughs> it's a little mailbox! <laughs> it's so small and cute. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if there's some mail inside. <laughs> Whoa, look! It's really colorful mail. Hmm, there's orange, green, yellow, blue. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of like a reddish color. And pink. <laughs> Ooh, well, we better keep those in the mailbox. Oh! And look at this! <laughs> Looks like someone's trying to send a little car in the mail! <laughs> Whoa! And guess what that mailbox is in front of? <laughs> a little house! A little mailbox for a little house! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this! There are numbers on the house! Yeah! That's the first part of an address! Yeah! You need the street name and the number! You say the numbers with me. One, two, three. This house is so tiny. Oh, a little chair in a little house. Hmm. A little unicorn in a little house. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. This is such a little place with so many little things. Ooh, look, you have such a nice horn unicorn. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa, come on. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's the hideout. I bet the mailbag's in there. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoa. I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Slides. A yellow slide and a red slide. <laughs> Whoa, let's go down the really fast red one. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Check it out. You see what this is? It's a helicopter. No way! <laughs> Do you see 
what it is under the slide? Whoa. <laughs> it's a pirate ship. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And it has the anchor so it doesn't move around when it's in the sea. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know that some mail is transported by boats? Whoa. Whoa, look, trains. Oh, you see what it is? It's a rock wall. <laughs> and there's some ropes. I think we can do it. Let's climb to the top. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Look, the hideout has a steering wheel. Hmm, I didn't know you could drive a hideout. <laughs> Ring. Woo! <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! We're here in a food truck. I can wash my hands and cook some yummy food. <laughs> Woo! Here's your change. <laughs> oh, it's time to go deliver some more food. Dinosaurs! <laughs> Look, it's a T-Rex. <laughs> and do you know what dinosaur this is? Hmm, it's a Triceratops. <laughs> yeah, because it has one, two, three horns. <laughs> Uh-oh! Look at what happened. Oh no! The dinosaurs broke the railroad tracks. <laughs> but that's okay. I think they were just playing. <laughs> oh, and we can put it back together. Hmm. We just need all the pieces. <laughs> One piece. Hmm. And two piece. And ooh, <laughs> we fixed it. <laughs> yeah. And maybe the dinosaurs, they want to go for a ride. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Whoa, it's another dinosaur. Oh! <laughs> Just kidding. This is a friendly dinosaur. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite kind of dinosaur? Whoa, I like that one too. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Let's act like dinosaurs together. Do you know what sound a dinosaur makes? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's roar together. <laughs> hmm, I think we can roar a little louder than that. Are you ready? Here we go! <laughs> Whoa, those were some really great and really loud roars. <laughs> but wait a minute, dinosaurs, they don't read the mail. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> peekaboo. Well, we went down the red slide before, so now let's go down the yellow slide. <laughs> if the red slide is really fast, maybe this slide is really slow. Slow. Pretty silly. <laughs> Whoa, check out what it is. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa, that was so fun. <laughs> Whoa, and check out this wall. Do you see what's on it? <laughs> Whoa, a planet. <laughs> yeah, a planet is in space. Hmm. Whoa, and look. It's a space shuttle. Yeah, those are in space too. <laughs> Whoa, or a rocket. <laughs> Whoa, hey look, it's the moon. <laughs> yeah, they fly into space. Yeah, rockets fly into space to see planets, and stars, and things like that. <laughs> hey, you know what else flies? <laughs> yeah, birds fly. Woo, <laughs> will you be a bird with me? Caw -caw, caw -caw. 
Kaka! Kaka! Whoa! <laughs> well, you're a pretty good bird. <laughs> hey, do you know what else flies? Airplanes! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at what it is! Some paper. <gasps> Hands on paper airplane! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa, this one looks so fast! <laughs> hey, have you ever tried to make a paper airplane before? Whoa, <laughs> well, let's make one together. Okay, first, ooh, <laughs> if you have a table with some paper, yeah, you need a piece of paper and you want it to be this shape. Yeah, a rectangle, <laughs> yeah, has two sides that are the same and two sides that are a little bit longer. They're also the same size. <laughs> and then fold it up and it turns into a paper airplane. <laughs> First, you wanna fold it like this. You wanna make sure it's still long. Fold it in the middle. <laughs> and then you move your fingers to make it really flat. <laughs> then we wanna take this piece of paper. Yeah, kinda looks like a book <laughs> or a mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> and then we wanna turn it into a different shape. So we can take this corner and fold it in. Whoa. And then this corner and fold it in. <laughs> yeah. See these two little flaps? They're one, two triangles. <laughs> Whoa. Now it kind of looks like, hmm, maybe a really, really big pencil. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe like a house. Yeah. <laughs> We're just missing a door and windows. <laughs> hmm. This next part is a little tricky, so maybe a grown-up can help you, but I think you can do it. <laughs> we want to take this corner here and fold it into the center. So we'll take it there, <laughs> like this, and fold it into the center. <laughs> yeah, good job. Whoa, and then do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, look at it now. Whoa, it's a really big triangle. <laughs> yeah, it has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> hmm, but this isn't an airplane yet. Hmm, hmm, Ooh, I know what to do. Yeah, first we fold it in half. Yeah, then we make the wings. So we take this part, we fold it down. Then we take this part, fold it down again. <laughs> Whoa, this paper airplane is gonna fly so well and so fast. <laughs> okay. Then you wanna press it so it's nice and folded. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. It's a paper airplane. Yeah, when you throw it, you wanna throw it really fast. <laughs> yeah, it flies through the sky. And I have a special trick that I like to do with all the airplanes that I make. Yeah, if you make an airplane like this, it will go flat. But if you take the ends of the airplane, four little rips. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, and then this flap goes down and this flap goes up. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> yeah, this plane looks so fast! And you see these little flaps we made? <laughs> yeah, this plane's gonna do a really good job of spinning! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, airplanes are really good at flying. And because they can travel so fast, they're also really good at delivering and carrying the mail. Yeah, these can carry mail. It's called air mail. <laughs> yeah, actually, did you know that mail, it can travel on a car or a truck or a boat or on a plane? <laughs> yeah, there are all different ways that you can deliver the mail. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at what it is. It's the map of the world. 
and it's so big! <laughs> and colorful. <laughs> Europe is orange. Asia is blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. <laughs> and do you notice anything special about this map? <laughs> Animals! <laughs> yeah, there are so many kinds, like dolphins. <laughs> Whoa, look! Do you know what animal this is? It has a really long neck. <laughs> a giraffe! Woohoo! Yeah, there are animals that live all over the world. And people that live all over the world, too. What if you wanted to send a letter all the way from Australia to the United States? Whoa, that would be a really long trip. <laughs> yeah, there are so many ways to transport mail. One is with an airplane. Air mail! <laughs> but did you know that mail can travel in so many different ways? Yeah, there could be a mail carrier driving a car, <laughs> or mail on a train, or even on a boat. <laughs> yeah, because there are a lot of oceans. <laughs> but air mail is the fastest way for mail to travel. <laughs> you just need to know where to send it. From Africa to Asia. From Asia to Europe to South America. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like all ways to transport mail, but air mail certainly is the fastest. my paper airplane, and look at what it is. <laughs> it's a mailbag. <gasps> Blippi's mail. <laughs> Whoa, this is what we were looking for. <laughs> and if this is a mailbag, that means this is the mail room. <laughs> Bet there's lots of mail here. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> there is so much mail here. It's so colorful. <laughs> Well, in a mail room, there's so much mail that it needs to be sorted. <laughs> um, hmm, how do you think we could sort this mail? Hmm, there aren't any addresses on it. We can sort it by color. <laughs> we need to put all the yellow together, all the green together, all the blue, orange, pink, red. <laughs> sort all the colors. Okay, super blippy sorting powers, go! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's start with blue. Now yellow. <laughs> Don't want to forget green. <laughs> There's purple and pink. Now this reddish color. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> and last but not least, orange. <laughs> Whoa, we sorted all the mail. Whoa, and this is certainly a lot of mail. Yeah, and look, we have numbers and letters. Yeah, so you can put an address on all the mail so the mail carrier knows where to take it. <laughs> Whoa, and stamps. <laughs> oh, and look. It's a crayon, so you can write a letter. <laughs> Dear Blippi, thanks for being so silly! Woo! <laughs> well, well, now that we've sorted all the letters, we need to put it in the mailbag so they can be delivered. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> this was a lot of letters. <gasps> I'm getting really tired from all this sorting. <laughs> okay, we have our letters. Now let's put it back in the mailbag. <laughs> No way! <laughs> you wouldn't believe what's inside! <gasps> clue number four! <laughs> Let's read the clue. Oh. With all that you need for a very fine letter, your friend needs their mail. Will you send or deliver? Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, letters normally go in a mailbox. <laughs> kind of like this. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> has my name on it too, Blippi Mail. <laughs> we could put the letters in the mailbox. But wait a minute, 
I have a mailbag. Well, because I have this mailbag, maybe I don't want to send the letters. Maybe I want to deliver the letters. <laughs> yeah, today I want to be a mail carrier. Oh yeah, whoa. <laughs> yeah, we can use our bike and our mailbag. We can deliver it ourselves. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to deliver this letter. Oh, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Okay, let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> Special delivery. Here's a letter from Blippi. We had to write it, design it to you from me. Here's a special delivery. Grab some paper. Let's write one that's sure to impress So let's get creative and make a mess Pick a card, some stickers too So colorful, let's decorate it Here's a letter from me to you So wonderful, let's get creative Special delivery Here's a letter from Blippi We had to write it Exciting to check your mailbox to see if someone has written you a letter. Put it in an envelope, bright orange or blue, it's up to you. Now you can stamp, stamp, stamp with a stamp, 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 and now it's all ready. Woohoo! Pick a card, some stickers too, so color. tells the mail carrier where to deliver the letter. And you might even get a letter back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We did it! We made it to Jacob and Ava's house! We have the right address! <laughs> hmm, but now we need to find where to put the letter. Hmm... What are you doing, Blippi? Oh, hi, Jacob! Hi, Ava! Hi, Blippi! Look who it is! It's Jacob and Ava! Hi! <laughs> oh, Jacob and Ava, look! I wrote this letter just for you, and I was trying to put it in the letter box, but it's so big. Hmm. Why don't you just give it to us? Oh, <laughs> that's a great idea. Here you go. <laughs> And I wanted to say thank you so much for the letter you wrote to me. I had such a good time reading it. <laughs> you're welcome. Ah, you're welcome too. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Woo! Mom, we got a letter from Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! I had so much fun learning all about mail. And it's so amazing how mail can travel. Yeah, you can send a letter and it can go all the way around the world! <laughs> yeah, and writing a letter is really fun too. Yeah, you can get creative and decorate it, even make a mess. <laughs> hey, maybe you would like to write a letter today. You could write it to a friend or a relative. 
Just don't forget to write their name, address, and put a stamp on it. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippi, and I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Ooh. <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs. Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. Woohoo! Whoa, this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Whoa. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Whoa. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <gasps> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, we got that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it and sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down and now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Oh, uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay. We'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, I love pizza with lots of cheese. Okay, we'll put the cheese there. 
And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. <laughs> and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions. Ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious and all done. Yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats. And we have, hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah. An MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones, to make sure they're not broken. And this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's Pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its lip. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Up, up, <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome! Whoa, look at what it is! It's a fire truck! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, fire trucks are so cool! And look at this! It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa! <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah, this right here is the firefighter's siren. 
and it goes like this. Yeah, when a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. It's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, and do you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet. And that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh. Whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. And we can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! Look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah, being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Do you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. <sighs> look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet, <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse, 
And just see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah! Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa, that means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange, because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay, you have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious and I'm sure you'll find what you will wanna do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. <laughs> this fire truck and recycling truck Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye.